uniform. We have a beautiful night here for football. And do so the Vipers will kick to Eastern Illinois. Kicking towards the north end zone to start this two degrees, slight wind out of the south and just partly cloudy skies. This is a gorgeous night for football. And a right arm. And it'll be first down and he's gonna throw it. Little screen pass out. After I should say this early right. evening Last and you hear him roaring. Last week against Chattanooga. On second down, he's gonna throw again. He has a receiver again who dodges one. This is Hill. He sidestep a couple and seven nine tackles last week alone causing fourth and short Benefield again picks up some of that young call of a draw play on third and long in your own field in the workhorse on second down you flip it out it's gonna be a first down catch second most popular person in the stadium today out of Arlington Heights Illinois right Kurt need here as we approach the nine minute mark we're just underway here in the first the pass is caught by Wankers right out of the backfield. He spins ahead across the 40-yard line before. On the receiving end munch last week, only two receptions. On 28 yards in five plays on their first offense. Got a whole lot of real estate to run here, and he'll be angled out of bounds. Other man coverage, bootleg out near side. Didn't even need to look down. First down of the night. And the give is to Wankers right. And he powers ahead. Trenches. Last week, Chattanooga very successful running the ball with their running back. Illinois State's first offensive possession of the night. Anikstead looks to the end zone, has a man! Wolfmore from Texas had two catches coming into the night, and that's his first top board first, 7 0. The Redbirds lead East, Eastern Illinois. A try to one day. Back up to you in the booth. Thank you, Scott, for that report. Second consecutive was down. They moved the chains. Yeah, Benefield's, yeah, I should down. say, excuse me, quite. So trying to pass now. Down the middle, floats it up there, has his man who makes the play. He gets a, came over from Albion College, and he's made a big impact for the Panthers off now. At first and 10. O'Brien again to the air, flips it to the sidelines, and it's. Nice play action deep over the middle, and then this. It's now from the Illinois State 25. He's going to try to screen it out, and it's going to be incomplete. The whistle. It looked like from our vantage point that. Well, Frankie West Touchdown! was Illinois State's cornerback. Pressure coming. O'Brien goes over the middle, has a man wide open. It's Thomas again. He hurdles a, a win. Corner of the end zone. If he wanted to take a shot at that touchdown, decided to let settle get the first to a screen. Yeah, man coverage for the Redbirds and on second down. O'Brien has a man wide open in the end zone. His pocket held, I mean, after zero, Kurt, you don't get the pressure. Easy touchdown. Dwayne. He bangs it through. Press third and coverage. seven. Yeah, third and seven. Anikstead with time over the middle. He's got Carter again. The man who caught on the carry. So Illinois State faces third and six now. Anikstead quick pass out. Tanner Towla makes the catch right about. EIU. Anikstead read that. Yeah, looked at the secondary. The six for Illinois State. 27. And they blitz. And the pass is intercepted. He threw behind the intended receiver. Time. Snuffs it out and was, he, you know, he was. That was indeed a penalty against Illinois State. So on second down, Benningfield gets the handoff and he's across. Here, so it's never been issues on the offensive side. The 20 yard line now. Well, Bryant has pressure again. He's hit, but he got it away. He flipped it out to his back. Of this game and the rest of the season. Redbirds face third and seven. Now they're going to flip it out to White. He gets across midfield. We have seen game and game again where he's made. Now from the 39. And Anikstead rolls and goes over the middle. And he's got. Operation on that play. Anikstead delivers a right. Bounds tonight. Anikstead has a man. Caught. And it's going to be a touchdown again. Soft zone right at about the 10 yard line. And then got it. Played by Sapkowitz. But even a bigger tip of your hand. Right, the starting tailback. Sling. Appears to be out for the rest of the game. He's not in uniform anymore. That's sent to the sidelines and it's caught. Helmet knocked off. Well, at least he slowed him down enough to wait for the cap. Anikstead, quick pass over the middle. He's got Deming, the tight end, who makes the play. players Toyota. defending against the run, the screen. Anikstead flips it out. The this is Carr, but he's not going to get that. You get to keep your timeout, and you got a minute and a half line. remaining in isolation. 
O'Brien on first down, in and out of the hit, and now they get a pick six touchdown. Oh, and as you see, the linebacker, beautiful play, a tip pick. Six last week and a pick six tonight. Jack to the half. What a turn of events there. Illinois State 21 on the 30 yard line now for Eastern Illinois. And O'Brien steps up and completes a pass to the sideline. That's Hill that makes the play. Truly has and gets a first down for EIU 27. The field at the 49 on second down. O'Brien's pass is caught and immediately brought down. And job on the open field tackle, causing EIU to have to use more room to work with here. O'Brien throws down the field and he's intercepted. In. And that will end the half. Turns away Eastern as the Panthers were looking for late points. A few runs that Cole Mueller had in that opening game against Wisconsin, he said was so optimistic. And extend over penalty marker down. Set up on the defense lawn. And extend flips it out. This is going to have to dance around a couple of EIU. Yeah, it looks like the Redbirds are indeed going to kick. They made that decision. So in seven, they've moved the ball up to the four-yard line, and now O'Brien's going to try to pass it. It's tipped around, and another interception pick. Playability for the defense of IS. Time, it's DeAndre Lamont. Right, so Dakarian again is going to have an opportunity, and for the third time, that one is through. Eastern Illinois, 28-7 here at Hancock Stadium. They've been backed into a corner here, down by 21. Over the middle, caught, it's Hill again, who makes the for 35 yards of the night. He's been the favorite target of Jonah O'Brien. Redbirds rush four. Pass is over the middle. Punt, interception, interception. Ah, uh, the story of the victory bell. The Redbirds face third down here. The pass goes to Deming. He steps around. There's the play to the tight end again. There's a safety valve that Annex did. Have made an impact for the Redbirds. Now they're going to run the ball with Felique Brown, and he spins ahead. Good play there. The, the football starting this drive at the 11. In and out of the hands of O'Brien. He's got to jump on it again, but to the inside the five-yard line. Not necessarily something in your playbook, but that is now three. Out they're going to try Felique Brown again. And he pushes ahead. Interior defensive line for Eastern Illinois. And instead, going to keep it, and for the second, great fake to Felipe. Well, again, when you say to yourself, who's one of the last people that we expensive plays right now? It's second down, I'm sorry. The pass is over the middle and caught. Jay Valley, the tight end. Down. So third and a long 11. But draw play. Big hit. Bounced off a cut. Wind down this third quarter. Yeah, Will Hoyt now with six. Second and 10 now for the Redbirds. Lampkin gets the call, and he's in the backfield. Second level running. Probably going to have a bruise from that point blank range. Second interception now for the. Could this be their third takeaway score of the night? <laughs> Stands. The Redbirds already have two interception returns. It's been for the Redbird defense and the EIU offense. And on third down, Weir is running around for his life and he's going to be sacked. And he said to me in the past few games, and one thing he said was we need to, you know, new coaching staff, also new quarterback in the yeah. game. Good job turning the corner. They've sent him in to get some snaps. Jack said as he said, look, arguably our best athlete we had on our team <laughs> quarterback tonight to play for the Panthers and he's going to keep it on the option of the defense like ISU is showing tonight I mean uh, 10 now the ball at the 28 yard line Schaffner's going to keep it again try to get to the edge and he does 2,500 yards passing had an 8-3 record and in interceptions it's been a sight to behold Schaffner keeps it he'll have another Taking the, he's looking at the first read, and if not, he's going very, very costly turnover game. Schaffner again has had success. Being all the head coaches and assistant coaches. Uh, third down, Schaffner's going to keep it again, and yet. A series here, too. You put Schaffner into the ball game and just. Comments, the final score here from Hancock Stadium, Illinois State 35, and.